associated with a connection polynomial is something called the period. And the period that we're going to denote t for a connection polynomial c of d is defined as the smallest t but larger than zero for which the connection polynomial c of d divides 1 plus d to the t. And if you want to find the period for the connection polynomial, we can use the following theorem. The period for a connection polynomial C of D can be derived by long division, that is serious expansion, of 1 over the connection polynomial C of D. At the first occasion, the remainder is D to the K. Then we get the period as the period T will equal the integer K. And we can see this rather easy as follows. So what we're doing is that we're taking 1 plus d to the t and we divide this by c of d. And when we divide this, let us call the result just k of d. So this is a polynomial in d. This means that we can write this as 1 over c of d plus d to the t over c of d which will equal also our result that is our polynomial that we call k of d and if we now take this term here and move it to the right hand side what we get is that 1 over c of d is equal to k of d plus d to the t over c of d. So that means that when we make this division here, we get this remainder that is d to the t. And the first time we find the remainder of this form, we're going to use this as the period. So this will be k here when we find it the first time. So let us do this for a small example. So we want to find the period of the connection polynomial here, C of D, which in this example will be 1 plus D plus D cubed. So what is the period of this polynomial? So what we do is that we divide 1 by this polynomial. So we have 1 plus D plus D d cube in the denominator and then we have 1 here in the numerator. So 1 in 1 we can do 1 time so we have 1 plus d plus d cube. We sum this we get d plus d cube. Then we have plus d here and we multiply d with the denominator so we get d plus d squared plus d to the 4 and we sum these we get d squared plus d cubed plus d 4 and then we have d squared here and we get d squared plus d cubed plus d 5 and then we get d 4 plus d5 and continuing this we get d4 here which gives us d4 plus d5 plus d7 and summing these will give us d7 as the remainder and what we have here now is the first time that we get the remainder of the form d to the k because here, the previous time we had a remainder, we had two terms. Before that, we had a remainder with three terms. And the first remainder that we had in our division here had two terms. And we were looking for a remainder with only one term. And when we got that, our period T will be equal to our value K, which in this case is equal to 7. So the period for this connection polynomial that we have here is 7. We can now relate the period of the connection polynomial to the period of the sequence. 
So the period for the connection polynomial C of D and the period of the sequence S, where the sequence S has a D transform that we can write on the form S of D equals P of D divided by the connection polynomial C of D, where the degree of P of D is less than the degree of C, is the same if the greatest common divisor between the P of D and C of D polynomials is 1. So assuming that the greatest common divisor between P of D and C of D is 1, then if you want to find the period of a sequence, then you can instead find the period for the connection polynomial, and these two will be the same.